Hi guys, Misty here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a patriotic tour of my backyard. So welcome and thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm also going to put a quick but not very detailed tutorial at the end of the video showing you how to make these firecrackers. So these are the little firecracker bundles that I'm going to show you how to make. I just used things that I had um, around the house with the exception of the fabric on this one um, and I did pick this up at Walmart this year. So sometimes you guys also ask, let me sit. So as I was saying, sometimes you guys ask where I get clothing I'm wearing, my hats, different things like that. So I thought I'd share with you real quick today. So the fedora is Queen Bee's Vintage. Um, we have sold these in the past and we're hoping to have more on the website. Um, my fun heart glasses are from the Target Dollar Spot this year. They were $3. This fun vest, patriotic vest, was from Target last year. But I know they have them this year because my mom purchased one for Riley. And then I just have these fun little white capris that I picked up at Kohl's. This lace trim tank is another Queen Bee's from a couple years ago. And then my fun and super comfy leather red Sabika sandals are from TJ Maxx a couple years ago. But guys, they have um, fun sandals in there all the time. So um, let's show you guys around the patio and then I'll see you at the end. Alrighty guys, so I am starting over here in my side yard area so that I can give you an overall view of the patio. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do just kind of a silent little tour around just showing everything. Um, that way those that don't want a detailed tour can see the decor. And then I'll do a more detailed um, overview of everything. So please excuse the shrubs along the fence. They have to be trimmed uh, with me being down all week last week. Didn't get a chance to get that done and they're way overgrown. So um, as we walk towards the patio, this is how things look. We have a very small yard because we live right above uh, the private course here at Red Hawk and we have a spectacular view from over um, in our dining area. So I will show you guys that, but let's just take a look at what I've done here.
the cutest decoration there is, Mr. Stubbs. Okay guys, so now I will give you um, more detail about what I've done here. So as I said, we live above the private course. Our yard is very small. Um, when we chose this home, it will be 18 years ago uh, this year. We chose it because of the view. It had the best view on the street as far as the golf course and the valley below us. So we kind of sacrificed having a bigger home because the foundation was already poured for our home. So we sacrificed a larger home um, so that we could have this spectacular view, which we absolutely love. During the summer, we eat most of our meals out here. Um, we have coffee out here every morning. It's just beautiful and spectacular and we feel very, very blessed. So um, we have these little metal arbor like trellises and we're hoping that our trumpet vine will grow over the top of those and they just have some little lanterns and of course our hummingbird feeder because the trumpet vine attracts a lot of hummingbirds and I just have my little ladybug hanging um, pot here you saw my mom and I haul these at the 99 cent store I had some um, red and white petunias in this and I had taken them out to water them and left them sitting on the patio so they could drain and forgot them overnight and a rabbit ate all the flowers off of it. So hopefully they'll come back around. Over in this little seating area, I have a little coffee table with just a little uh, woven rug that was a clearance from Hobby Lobby from two years ago. And I did a navy and white striped rug that I also got on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year as my table cover and then a red and white bandana. I have this awesome strawberry bowl. You guys may have seen this in a previous haul and you know my love of strawberries. So what I did is I planted some geraniums and some red and white petunias in a separate uh, planting container that fit perfectly inside my bowl. So when I water in the morning, I just take it out water, let the plant drain, and then put it back in this beautiful bowl. And then on my bench, we've just got some blue cushions. This is a really cool rusty wrought iron bench that has lots of fleur-de-lis on it. And I have this great distressed uh, United St uh, States sign that I got at Michael's last year on clearance. It was super inexpensive. I think I paid like $1.50 for it and I just zip tied that onto the back of my bench and we have a little dwarf peach tree behind that that yields tons of peaches and on our shade umbrella we just hung these really cute patriotic paper lanterns at different heights and the ones that look like an American flag and the navy ones that have the little stars on them those light up so at night it looks really fun and festive and in my bird bath here I got this a couple years ago at TJ Maxx and it was kind of an odd green color so I just painted it white and let some of that darker color show through and I just have some potted uh, geraniums with some trailing plants, flowering plants inside that. And then in this corner, I put this cute little antique red tricycle that I got in an auction several years ago. I just put that there in front of my little table. And this little welcome sign is just a, a little Dollar Tree find. And I just put a little flag down and then my marquee that lights up says happy and then I have a four for the fourth and in the little key hanging off of the 
four. That is a picture of my grandfather when he was in um, the army in World War II. And it's significant because his birthday was on the 4th of July. So the 4th of July has always been a huge and very special celebration for our family. Not only for my grandfather's birthday, but to celebrate America's independence. And I have this fun gold feathered heart. Um, this was a Hobby Lobby purchase on Clarence two years ago at the end of summer. And I actually use this out here when we do, when we switch from our patriotic decor to kind of our boho shabby chic decor out here on the patio. But I just thought the heart was befitting to go on this little memorial table for my grandfather. And I just wrapped a little um, burlap star spray that was also on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year up around the heart. And I've got some red geraniums in this urn with some little flags and a navy blue metal star. And then I've got this fun little burlap wreath I made last year. I made a lot of decorations for my grandfather's celebration of life. And this was one of the pieces we used. So I'm not doing any patriotic inside the house this year. I normally do. I decided to um, stick with my other summer decor inside, which I'll show you in an upcoming tour. And then I just took one of those um, cotton wreaths that we got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. We showed that in a haul and put it on top of my flower pot. I've got a pot of red petunias here. And then these fun pinwheels are from the Target Dollar Spot. And I actually adhered the sticks that I cut off the pinwheels that you'll see on my bike spokes. I adhered those sticks onto the pinwheels so that I could stick them in, down into the arrangement. And then up here we just have a bunting with this really cool gold eagle that I found at a thrift store a couple years ago. I just stuck him on top and a little burlap flag. And then this is just a really super simple wreath I created uh, for the celebration of life as well. On the inside of this column, I have hung this wreath that I also created as a tribute to my grandfather. It's got a lot of vintage ephemera images and then I created the different colored pinwheels. Sorry about the sun, guys. It's kind of making it hard to film this part of it. And then I have pictures of my grandfather tucked in among the other images. And a fun red, white, and blue rag bow tops it off with a little burlap flag. One of my favorite papers paper crafting projects for sure. And then over here on my little side table, I've got this decorated. I have another bunting here and my fresh strawberry sign. You guys saw my mom and I haul these at Tuesday morning. I think this was like back in March we got those and they are metal. And when we entertain, we'll set food up on this. So I just kind of have it decorated um, to look festive right now. But all of these things can serve for um, serving food. I've got a couple cake stands, my strawberry cookie jar, which we do put cookies in when the kids have friends over. My cute little cheese plate is on top of this a darling strawberry candlestick that I hauled from the thrift store and it matches this cute little pitcher and I just stuck a garden ball on top of that and I've got a metal can here with some floral and some flags and then over here on my little ladder I have my little patriotic truck it does light up but you can't really see it during the day and I used a geranium garland from Michaels to wrap up around that. Hung this happy fourth sign and then put our 
light up hashtag sign. You guys have seen this in a previous haul from Hallmark. So it, we light it up at night and it says, you know, like hashtag happy 4th of July. Another cute strawberry picture that I picked up thrifting and I just put some little um, zinnias in there. And I've got this cute distressed star. This is from Target Dollar Spot this year. And I have these cute bandanas, striped bandanas. These are Target Dollar Spot from last year. And then down below the table, I have my red lanterns that I used at Christmas, as well as my little white houses from Target. And they've got some really cute, um, patriotic, sparkly picks that come out of the chimneys. And these light up as well, and at night it looks really cute. And then this is my little basket that we keep the chemicals for the spa in. And I told you guys in the intro that I will show you how to make these little bundles of firecrackers that I made to stick in there. And there were a couple leftover paper lanterns we put in there with a flag bandana hanging out over the side. And so I've explained to you that we have a very small yard and for several years I've always joked about how I wanted to get an inflatable hot tub. With my pain issues, it feels really good to get into a hot tub, but because our yard is so small, we really don't have the space for a big bulky spa back here. So this summer, I finally bit the bullet and we got our inflatable hot tub, which we absolutely love. It is amazing. The only bad thing is it kind of messes with my covered outdoor living space. So it kind of throws off the flow a little bit, but so worth it because it feels amazing to sit in it and soak. I had a really rough week last week and was down most of the week and that was very helpful to be able to get in there. And behind that, in the corner, I have one of my old weathered doors. These were off of a farmhouse in Idaho that dated back about 200 years. The other door from that same farm um, house from the cellar is inside my house. You guys have seen that in my entryway in other tours. And I just draped a little like lace valance. I have this fun skull hanging there and it's adorned with some um, red, clear, and blue lights, as well as some bulb lights, and just this cute, fun rag and pom-pom banner I made last year. And then on my little outdoor patio lamp, I the shade got really gross and worn and dirty, so I took it off and stripped it down to the bones of the shade and I wrapped it with some rags and created this look and the cute um, silk flower is a clearance from Hobby Lobby last year that we just stuck on there. This is my patriotic window we created using our chalk couture transfers. We did this last year and I absolutely love that. So I showed that we have these patio lights that kind of crisscross above the top of the patio here. I have a little um, swag garland that was created last year. And these glitter stars are just from the dollar store and we just tied them on where the lights crisscross down. And the paper lanterns are also from the Dollar Tree. And then over here in my little metal hanging planter, I just did an arrangement that has some geraniums and some white hydrangeas and some American flags. And this cute little sparkly top hat is from the dollar store. And I have my antique enamel coffee pot there as well. 
And this little bowl and pitcher just has some white hydrangeas and some red roses and flags. And I have another little lantern with a candle and we light that at night. And this is just another wreath that I made last year. And here on our little sofa, I just take this um, twin, it's a twin sheet that has this bandana print and I wrap it over the cushions. And then I've got my pillows that we created using our chalk couture transfers. We have a video for this um, that we did last year. I will try to link it in the description box below. And then I just have a little footstool that was so thrashed and ratty that um, was a roadside find and I just covered it with a burlap coffee sack draped one of my little striped bandanas on it and put this metal tray, which was a clearance piece from Target down. And I've got these cute red, white, and blue star candles. Another one of those glitter stars from the dollar store. And this is one of our watering cans from the 99 cent store. And I just filled it with some white hydrangeas, some red carnations, and these cute glittered patriotic picks. Don't mind the drawers down under my sofa there. They are for a project that I'm working on. I just have a little planter with some more petunias in this fun little birdhouse. And then on my chairs, what I did is I took this star runner that was in the dollar spot at Target and draped it on the chair here. And then this pillow is actually made from two handkerchiefs. So we've got the checkered side here and then the red and white bandana on the back. And then you'll see that the check pillow coordinates with the runner that I used on this chair. And I just created another pillow taking two bandanas. These are from the dollar store. And we've got the red and the blue. And these are just quick hot glue pillows. These are nothing like the amazing pillows that my mom makes. But I just wanted to throw a couple together because I feel like I needed, needed them out here. And then on my little owl end tables. I got these at Michael's a few years ago. I just have some little succulents planted. Don't mind my snapdragon. I still need to get that planted. And look at that corgi cuteness. Can you say hi, Mr. Stubbs? <laughs> hi, baby. And I've got my other owl over here with some more succulents. And here in this urn that I chalk painted white, I've got more geraniums with just some little flag picks. Another one of those glittered stars. This darling little pot with a berry with strawberries. And I just put a little um, red and white uh, petunia in that. And then you guys, some of you have seen the posts of my bike and some of you watched the video where I created the arrangement for the bike. Sorry it's so shaded right now and not showing very good. And then I just took pinwheels from the dollar store. Let me see if I come this way and look. Mm, not too much better but and I just cut the sticks off the pinwheels and left just a, about an inch of the stick hanging on the back and then I zip tied around that stick and zip tied the pinwheels onto the wheels of my bike and in this old window it, there is no glass this is um, one of our older flags that was starting to get worn so we just um, stapled it into the back of the window here and hung some metal stars from the target dollar spot and then I just um, screwed this um, oblong galvanized planting bin 
to the bottom of the window frame and it's got some succulents in it. And here in our tree, this tree kind of umbrellas over and it will grow clear down, clear down to the ground if we allow it to, but we keep it trimmed back. And I've hung these fun uh, lanterns. I have um, red, white, and blue. So here's the white and blue. And this is just a fun little wind sock from the Dollar Tree. Here's my red lantern. The lanterns were picked up at the 99 cent store and they were $5.99 each. And then I've got this cute star. That's a Hobby Lobby find from a couple years ago. And then we just hung these fun little buntings that we picked up at the Dollar Tree on the fence here. And I have um, an old uh, plaster column that broke in half, so I use them as planters. So I've got some red geraniums here. Please excuse the way it looks. It does need to be repainted. And I've got some lilies over here and a cross and of course my angel. This is a little tribute garden to my grandfather. And this little wagon was my kids when they were really small. So I put it in here with some pots and I've got more uh, red and white geraniums and they're surrounded by red and white petunias. I just deadheaded them and so there aren't any real petunia blooms right now. And in this little wooden frame that was like a junkyard find, I just hung a proud to be an American flag and I've got a little wooden cross there. And my cherub, I wanna paint him like a distressed white and I just haven't had a chance to yet. I've got my rose bush here. I have one of these, um, it's one of those, uh, they're like a can that's flat on the back so you can create arrangements in them and hang them. I find these at the thrift stores all the time. So in this one, I just put some red geraniums and these fun metal star picks. They're from the Dollar Tree. And I also have some um, dollar solar lights in there as well. And then I just put this bow. It's from the Dollar Tree. And I've got another little God Bless America patriotic flag. And then my girlfriend's mother-in-law makes these fun metal garden flowers. And she gave me this last 4th of July as a, um, she had a, a barbecue at her house and each one of the guests got one of these flowers. So I absolutely love it and it works out so good here. Here's the other part of my column and it just has some petunias in it. And I've got another little angel. We're gonna be changing this corner. We're gonna be taking this tree, the smaller tree, out. And in this corner, I'm gonna have a water feature. So we'll probably do a video on that. I've got some more lilies potted. And then in my old rusty wheelbarrow, I've got some wave petunias, a door off of an old cook stove, some snapdragons, and this cute, um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a barbed wire flower sculpture. And then over here, I've got another rose bush and my flag. And then now to our dining area. So we purchased this table at Walmart about three years ago. It's just a little black uh, wrought iron table. The chairs rock. They came with the red cushions on them. And then we just found these blue star pillows at Walmart for $5 a piece. And they make the chairs really comfy to sit in actually. I got this cute striped round uh, tablecloth um, on Amazon a couple of years ago. And it actually has the Hole, so if you wanted to put an umbrella in the center of your table, you can. And then I just layered that with this fun star rug that I picked up 
um, Target dollar spot last year. And I just layered a red and white bandana over the top of that. And then for my centerpiece, I took um, an old navy blue enamel teapot that I had. And I've got some firecrackers in there from Michael's, some floral, some of those fun sparkly star picks and some flags. And I just set it up on, um, it's a little galvanized uh, utensil caddy. I just put it up on that to give it some height, but I can always remove that and put our utensils on in it when we entertain. And then the little jars, my mom and I made these, oh gosh, probably four or five years ago. So we've got the blue one with the stars and I've just got some paper straws in them. And then two of them that are red and white striped. And the cute little star salt and pepper shakers came as a set and they were from the Target dollar spot this year. And then for my place settings, what I did, I'm gonna come over to this side, it might show a little bit better, is I took um, just a silver charger uh, from the Dollar Tree, and I was actually going to spray paint these white, but I really liked the way the silver looked. So on top of that, I layered a red plate from the Dollar Tree, and then the blue ones with the white stars, these came in two packs and they were from the Target dollar spot from this year. And then the, um, the blue salad plates are from Michael's from last year and they are Melmac. And then I just layered my Ray Dunn 4th of July bowls. I alternated so I have some that have red on the inside and some that have blue. And then same with the coffee mugs. And then I just put red um, bandanas for the napkins, popping out the tops of those. And then this is my fun little Ray Dunn uh, napkin holder from last year. It's got the cute ceramic star that holds the napkins down. And that is my table setting. And how my patriotic backyard came together. On these hooks on um, my columns, I just got some baskets of hanging red petunias, got some flags coming out of this planter. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the tour today. Thank you so much for watching. I need to say a huge thank you to my beautiful daughter, Riley. She was such a huge help um, with this whole endeavor back here. And she helps me with all of our indoor and outdoor decorating. I'm super blessed to have such a wonderful and talented daughter that loves to help me do what I love to do. So thank you to my Riley. And I want to thank each and every one of you so much for watching and for your continued support. I'm sorry there haven't been very many videos lately. As I said, I was down with some of my pain issues most of the week last week, and I'm just starting to get going again. But we'll have more for you soon. We have a front courtyard tour we're going to do and a summer decor tour inside the home that we're going to do as well. So please stay tuned for those. And if you want to stay tuned after this, I'll show you that quick short tutorial for the firecracker bundles. And you'll also see some nighttime footage of the patio. So thanks guys so much for watching. Love and appreciate you all so much and happy 4th of July. Bye bye.
Okay guys, so as I said in the intro, we are going to be making some um, decorative fire crackers uh, for my little pool basket that I have. It's not a pool basket, it's a basket that I keep all of my solutions for our spa. So um, to get started, we are going to need some pool noodles. I have a red one and I have a blue one and I have some patriotic fabric. I picked these three up at Walmart. They were pretty inexpensive like $3.97 a yard I think and then I have some of these left over from some projects from last year and uh, this is just some burlap uh, decorative ribbon, if you want to call it that. Red, and then these fun stripes. And um, I got these at Walmart last year. I don't think we're going to use these, but I brought them out just in case I have to cut some wire or zip ties. I have a box cutter, some jute twine in um, different thicknesses, scissors, my Gorilla hot glue sticks, my hot glue gun, and a lot of you have asked about this. This is the Precision Pro by AdTech, and it is located at Michael's. They're $12. They are a special value or special buy, so you cannot use a coupon on these. So in order to get started, we're going to um, cut our pool noodles in the lengths that we want them to be and continue on with decorating. So what I'm going to do is I'll do some of this in silence and just do a voiceover as I go and um, in some of it, I will be giving direction as we go along. So that you can see, I'm taking my box cutter and I have this about the length that I want it. And I'm just going and slicing around the noodle. so that we now have this. So I'm gonna to continue to do this in different lengths with both the red and the blue pool noodle, and I'll come back. Alrighty guys, so what I did is I cut my pieces of fabric down so that they were long enough to go around the pool noodle and then tuck down into the top of it so it all looks finished. And I just used some hot glue. And then I have these cute little sparkly uh, patriotic picks that I got last year at Michael's. I believe they still have them. And I just separated them out into bundles and I just taped the bottom of them with some masking tape. And I'm gonna put a little glue on them and just tuck them down inside. So this is what this set looks like. And this is my other set that I used the rolls of the burlap ribbon. And they weren't quite long enough. So what I did on the star one is I had a little like half inch gap where there was no burlap covering the noodle. So I just wrapped it with some jute twine. And then on the longer one, I just took two pieces that were the same length and glued it lengthwise around the noodle. And then I just took some of this patriotic ribbon, this was from Walmart, and spiraled, spiral wrapped it around the noodle. And then just to incorporate the jute twine, I took some and wrapped it around the middle of this longer one. And then on the striped one, I did the same thing. I made sure to cut it so that um, both pieces would match, the stripes would match. 
and the bottom of it's wrapped with a little bit of jute twine because it didn't quite cover clear to the bottom of the noodle. And then I just did the same thing with the glittery patriotic picks and just bundled them together with some jute twine and tied it off. So I'm gonna put these in the basket that we keep our spa chemicals in, just to kind of camouflage them, but these would go great anywhere. You could use these as centerpieces on a table, as little accents here and there in your decor. So really just kind of a fun, easy little DIY project. Um, I'll stage these and show you what they look like. And I hope you enjoyed this little additional tutorial that I added to this tour.